Hello everyone. Today we are going to see the fifth, seventh exercise in CCS 335 Cloud Computing. That is install Hadoop single node cluster and run simple application like word count. Today in this session we are going to see the installation of Hadoop single node cluster alone. Let me t first tell you what is Hadoop. Hadoop is an open source framework designed to store and process large set of data across distributed com computers. It is like clusters of computers which was interconnected to one another. It is built to handle big data. So Hadoop consists of two main components that is Hadoop distributed file system and MapReduce framework. HDFS is nothing but it acts as a storage layer and MapReduce it is used to process and manage data set which was executed parallelly across the clusters of nodes. Let's start with the installation of Hadoop. An installation of Hadoop was done in three mode that is standalone mode, pseudo distributed mode and distributed mode. In standalone mode all the nodes in the Hadoop such as name node, data node, resource manager, job tracker, task tracker, all these nodes will run in a single machine. And in pseudo distributed mode, it will simulate multi node cluster environment in same machine. It is just like creating multiple virtual machine in a single computer and making all the nodes run in different virtual machine, but it runs on the same machine. And distributed mode, it is nothing but the data will be distributed across multiple node clusters. So let's start with the install. Hadoop was developed in Java. So we have to install Java first. Let me open the terminal. Before installation, I have to give update. This is to ensure whether the, all the software packages are up to date. Now install Java. Java was already installed. To check the Java version, give this command. Now create new user Hadoop. Give password for Hadoop. Now here you don't want to give any details. Just give enter. Give S yes and enter. Now add Hadoop to sudo. Switch to Hadoop. After creating the user Hadoop, we have to switch to Hadoop. Give the password of Hadoop. Now we have switched to the Hadoop user. After that, generate the key. Here also you don't want to give any details, just give enter. And the keys generated was should be appended in the key file. The key was generated to ensure the secure connection between the systems and give SSH localhost. This is to verify SSH authentication. Give S. Yes. Again, switch to user Hadoop. Give the password. Now we want to download the Hadoop package. The link given here, here we can't able to find the Hadoop package. So open the browser. And download the Hadoop from there. 
these comments I have referred from the link I will give the link in the description box open the first link download it will take some time just copy the download link and cancel this open the terminal and give wget and the link and the name of the package it was getting downloaded it will take some time let me pass the video till it gets download now the Hadoop package was downloaded we have to unzip the package the folder was extracted we have to move the files to Hadoop user the package was moved open the bash rc file using nano editor append these following lines in the bash rc file it is nothing but the path of java, hadoop, hdfs, yarn and common library files open to the file give control o to save enter control x to exit the next one is this is to activate environmental variables now open environmental file and give the path of the java here if you see export java home there you have to give the path of the java export java home here it is uncomment the line and give the path of the java control o to save enter control x to exit make two directories for name node and data node Two directories were created. Now open core site.xml. We have to configure these files according to our system. This is the link which I referred. We have to change the configuration of core site.xml. Give this here. Now instead of Hadoop tech admin.com, we have to give our system host name open the new terminal and give host name this is the host name of our system Place the host name here. Give control O to save. Enter control X to exit. Now open HDFS site.xml.
copy the property here here the replication value is 1 that is the data block will be replicated only once the replication was done in order to maintain the integrity of the data here the name of the name name node directory the link of uh, path of the name node directory and data node directory was given here give control o to save enter control x now core side dot xml and hdfs site dot xml was configured next map red site dot xml open this before open core site dot xml give the same configuration for map red so copy this give the same configuration we gave for core site.xml control o to save enter and control x to exit open yarn site.xml give this configuration This is nothing but adding some auxiliary services like MapReduce and Shuffle which is the part of the MapReduce framework. Control O to save, enter, Control X. Now the configuration part was over. Let's start all the node. First we have to start the name node. name node was started then start the data node First the name node was started, now the data node and secondary name node was started. Now start the yarn, yarn node. When you start yarn, the resource manager and node manager node will get started. Now give JPS to check whether all nodes are started. That's all. Thank you.